So I used Microsoft Edge for one week and here are the results. So everyone seems to hate on Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer, but have any of the haters actually tried it out? I know everyone says it is slow and of course there are even memes about how slow Internet Explorer is but is it actually that bad? Well, luckily for you, I have used Microsoft Edge all week so that we can test these theories. So to determine if Microsoft Edge actually sucks, we'll be looking at three different categories and ranking each category with five possible stars. For comparison purposes, I'll also give my ranking for Google Chrome in each category. Before we discuss this juicy information, I have recently created a Discord server with the help of one of my subscribers, C Werewolf. So if you guys wanna to talk to me, go ahead and join. The link is in the description. So anyways, our first category is all about speed. Everyone seems to say that they have the fastest, best browser out, but who actually is the fastest? While I was using Microsoft Edge, I honestly did not feel any slower browsing the internet. It seemed smooth and relatively quick for my internet speeds, but what if we timed it against Google Chrome? Well, here was what I found. So first, I loaded YouTube on Chrome and it took 2.496 seconds to load the page. Then I loaded YouTube on Edge and it took 3.198 seconds to load the page. Chrome definitely had a faster load time, but to see if it was just somehow a fluke, I tested it a few more times. I decided to search YouTube again on both browsers and Chrome was able to load the page in 2.751 seconds and Edge took 3.903 seconds. Lastly, I tested a different site and I loaded Amazon on Chrome in 0.894 seconds and I tested it on Edge and I was able to load it in 1.212 seconds. So with these results, I think it is safe to say that Chrome is faster than Microsoft Edge. On average, with further testing, Chrome appears to be about 40% faster than Edge when it comes to load times. So for speed, I'll rank Edge 2 out of 5 stars and Chrome 5 out of 5 stars. So our next category is functionality. While switching over to Edge from Chrome, I was honestly wondering if I would even last a full week on just Edge. But just after a day of use, it did not seem near as bad as I thought. One of my favorite things about Edge is that it has a dark mode, which can help make your screen less glaring. And I know that you can get similar effects with Chrome, but I could not find an actual dark mode, just a dark theme. Another nice thing I enjoyed about Edge was that I was easily able to import my favorite bar, which saved me a good bit of time. One thing I noticed that Edge did not do was scroll with the arrow keys, which is definitely a downside for me. I'm unsure if there is any way to fix this, but I just thought this would have been standard. Another cool thing that you can do with Edge is add notes to your screen or highlight important statements, which was something that I actually found myself using a lot throughout this week. Since Microsoft created Edge, they've made it feel just like their Windows 10 operating system. So it just gives a fluid experience and feel. So when it comes to functionality, I'll rank Edge 5 out of 5 stars and Chrome 4 out of 5 stars. Finally, I'll be going over style and looks. So Edge has definitely improved on their previous logo for Internet Explorer. Yeah, just that logo makes me cringe. Anyways, their current logo is actually modern and looks good. When you look at the actual browser, it feels really clean, but it has more straight lines, making it kind of feel sharp, if that makes sense. If you look at Chrome, everything feels a little bit more relaxed because they have more bubbles and rounded edges similar to Apple. This is all preference, but I still prefer the way Google feels. I will give Microsoft a sticker though for keeping the same design as their operating system on their browser, which like I said before, makes everything feel more fluid on Edge. Now one disappointment I had with Edge is the lack of themes. There is definitely a lack of personalization with Microsoft Edge, and I feel that without personalization, it would be hard to compete with Chrome, who is the king of personalization. So for style, I give Internet Explorer 4 out of 5 stars and Chrome 5 out of 5 stars. So here are our final results. Edge has earned 11 out of 15 possible stars and Chrome has earned 14 out of 15 possible stars. I think it is safe to say that Microsoft Edge is not exactly the best internet browser out there, but it also is not near as bad as people say. It definitely deserves more credit than it gets. After a week of using Microsoft Edge, I've actually began to get used to the new browser. It was not a terrible experience, but I've just used Chrome for too long to ever leave it behind. I will say that I'm very excited to move back to Chrome. Chrome though. So like usual, I have a challenge for you guys. If you can count how many times I said Microsoft Edge in this video, including this time, I'll pin your comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like and turn on notifications for
for weekly videos. Also, if you want to talk to me, do not forget to join our Discord server in the description. Peace. Reality. It is touching the truth.